Welcome to a course on sequence and series. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Cauchy's criterion for series. Right? Uh, hope uh, you people remember the Cauchy criterion for sequence that we have seen in one of the previous lectures. With the help of that, we are going to prove this. Let us get into it. Uh, first, what? Here, by assuming the series converge, we will have to prove this condition is being satisfied. Right? Uh, okay. First, let us take the summation an converges. Right? It converge means this converge to some finite limit. Right? Some finite value s to which it converges. Okay. By convergence, we may write summation an minus s is less than epsilon. Okay, uh, the distance is going to be epsilon for some n bigger than or equals n. Okay, because you may treat this as what the sequence of partials. Okay, you may take the sequence of partial sums and whenever the sequence of partial sum converge, we say this series converge. Right. So in this way, we may write. Okay. Now instead, okay, having this as epsilon or simply epsilon by two. Okay, have this as epsilon, right? Now, consider absolute of, uh, here what do we need? Okay, Sn minus Sn. It is going to be Sn minus S plus S minus Sn. And using triangle inequality, we may write this way. And we are going to check uh, these values for the case m bigger than or equals n bigger than or equals n after the stage okay after the stage only we have chosen these two values after the stage this is going to be epsilon plus epsilon it is going to be 2 epsilon this is some negligible quantity right epsilon means some negligible quantity so we have this to be true and what is it it is summation k runs from uh, sorry 1 to n an right this is summation k runs from 1 to m a sorry a k right a k we has and this quantity is less than some negligible quantity and this is what when you expand it you are going to have a1 a2 till an you have minus a1 a2 here you may see that m is some stage after n so you will have till a n then also there are some elements right this quantity is less than epsilon 1 so we are subtracting this so we are going to have what summation k runs from n plus 1 to m a n is less than epsilon okay here if we have stopped okay more or less same okay and this proves the first part of this so by assuming it converges we have proved this part okay here if you remove this part you you can stop till a n minus 1 itself okay and what and we are going to assume this one conversely we are assuming this one and we have to prove it converges okay uh, that is summation k runs from n to m a k is less than epsilon it means absolute of s n minus s m less than epsilon right so this is true for what n bigger sorry m bigger than or equals n bigger than or equals big n this implies the sequence s n is Cauchy Cauchy sequence Cauchy sequence where in R we know that in R every Cauchy sequence converges Right? Therefore, this implies Sn converges. So, whenever the sequence of partial subs converge, it means what? The series converges. And this completes the proof. And uh, we might have uh, seen, in, seen in the previous lecture, that is while I was looking at the problem, we might have noticed something. Whenever a series, uh, series is convergent, okay, 
the nth term in the series tends to zero as n approaches infinity okay that is that is true only for convergent sequences the next result that we are going to see is if you have the series which is converging then your nth term approaches zero as n approaches infinity right uh, i think uh, i don't need to prove it formally uh, it can be uh, easily seen and does it imply whenever your n approaches infin uh, a n approaches zero as n approaches infinity does it imply a series is convergent no the converse need not be true okay and what way this is going to help us if it is going to be a convergent sequence of course the nth entry will tend to zero suppose the nth entry does not tend to zero we cannot say that the sequence can be convergent right easily you can decide the sequence cannot be convergent at all whenever nth entry does not approach zero okay uh, for example like uh, okay even this case uh, we have studied the convergence of uh, this one right summation rn we have uh, discussed the convergence of this series in the previous lecture right so when your r absolute of r was bigger than 1 that is fun the case is uh, r is bigger than 1 and uh, r is smaller than minus 1 for these two cases your r par n does not approach zero as n approaches infinity right so in this case it was not convergent your r par n approaches zero as your n approaches infinity for the case when absolute of r is smaller than 1 for this case it was the case right and uh, when mm, you may take uh, this series sorry uh, yeah this series this series in these two series your nth term approaches zero as n approaches infinity but this is not convergent whereas this is convergent why that we will see in the upcoming lecture okay and here one more result that i would like to tell you is that a series of non negative terms okay which means what the entry if you are if you are going to consider some uh, series summation an of this form all these an has to be greater than or equal to 0 for all n okay if you are considering such sequence this sorry such series the series is going to be a convergent one if and only if the sum of partial that is the sequence of partial sums is a bounded one that generally whenever a sequence is convergent it is going to be bounded right so here in order uh, we don't need to check for convergence even if we, if we check it is bounded it is enough to say that the series is convergent right thank you for watching